explosiveness, the attack to the rim, and this is what LSU does. Years ago from the University of Illinois, actually grew up in the Peoria area, and both were all league players. In fact, Williams was the player of the year in the OVC. It's, it's fun to watch number three, Justice Hill, for LSU defend. Watch him off the ball. And at the line, as you see the LSU bench, Started 30 games last year. Shaq and Stanley Roberts and Chris Jackson and Randy Livingston. 91-62 uh, decision. And, you know, trying to get that chemistry with all these new different pieces to the puzzle. Williams, oh, nice cut to the rack. Now back to Williams. Oh, wow. give and go there. I like that. And then take the open look within the offense. They are rushing. They are trying to attack LSU. And you just Schmidt checking in. <laughs> this guy, this guy was throwing some iron around this morning. Here's Knight, the BYU transfer, finds McChesney, and they finally break the ice. The defensive boards. Hannibal trying to go coast to coast. Nice little dish with Hayes, and Pump comes away with it. Nice little pass inside, and the make. Hayes with the left hand. And he gets it to drop. Kendall Coleman for LSU, just the length, the way he talks defensively, his positioning. I mean, he just does everything right. Three games of the season with double figure rebounds. And it's just pointed out in the open, one of the top rebounds from beyond the arc. Coleman trying to dump it down low to, oh my goodness. Yeah, Juice thought he got hit right there. I think he did too, but that's Matador defense right there. He can't come back down. The line will only help them. They've got to find a way to force Miller's guy to switch on to Williams, which would not be fair at all. He's got soft hands, a nice rotation on his shot, and K.J. Williams switching on to Burford. K.J. Williams, for five seconds, guarded the opposing team's point guard. That's how skill putting on a show in the opening 20 minutes. Ooh. Start over. So he he's already running a lot of sets through them. Those guys have been doing it for years. There's Miller. Some talent to work with at LSU. Preseason number nine, and we'll yeah. see about that in the SEC. Lewis from downtown. Drakus with two offensive rebounds, and the second time. Staying out of foul trouble, playing heavy minutes. And playing, and Ryan Peden and, and Coach Dockichuk, they knew that. They knew that coming into this. Down to 13 to 15 points and give, you, give yourselves a chance to come out. And man, oh, man. Williams. Hmm. Say, so, hey, we want to get you down on the block, but he's a pure shooter. And he's dominated this first half. Hill on the drive. And in some of the clock and there's a steal by Williams and Williams the other way with the lay in boy Reed back to KJ and why not for the tiptoe something good happens step back three rhythm at all only one offensive board is LSU Tigers yeah, he was sensational. Getting deep into the paint. Settling things down on the offensive end. Sandage from the other side. Nice. Time to try. Huh? Get that Lewis just single covered him. There's no need to double. Playing one on one. That little feel with those three Murray State guys that it's for a warning. With the flop, you'll go to the free throw line and shoot one free throw. LSU, on the other hand, they don't stop coming at you. Nice. Illinois State running these sets. Sandage on the dribble drive. Yeah, Keep him honest. Got to do a little dribble drive every once in a while, right, coach? But you got to try to figure out. Hannibal trying to cut the corner, stole by Burford. Got a two on one, and Darius will take it himself with the line. One again. LSU guards got too deep. Another steal by Burford. This time the dish and Knights. Sandage gets it stolen by Hayes. Hayes going coast. Mm. Transfer is not in against Western Illinois and his first game is. Sandage. 
Sandin spots up. That's his third. At all. McChesney. Well, Fowden wants it back, though. Well, Coleman, second chance. Right, Dexter cut off. Now from the outside. Oh, McChesney. He's in for Lewis. He's got a better three point shot. It's been a good decision. What a slip through. Ooh. <laughs> he play. I think that's, again, one of the unknowns, and that's why it's so hard. <laughs> There's no way. The guy, he's terrible at golf, right? We know that. This was the best decision they could make to come down to the toughness factor. They're going to have to improve in that area. They're going to have to come out in the next couple. Seneca Knight on the drive, and with his ball, coming away with it, Kendall Lewis, and he finds Knight for the easy. There's all these different lineups, and guys not used to playing together. you got to know what they're capable of doing. You go a couple times up and down the court without finding a three-point shooter, they'll be a lot more patient. He said, we didn't even have older guys around to teach the younger guys the new system. Better than having a returning experience. I mean, you, you got to have the players. Basketball. They are serious about basketball. I mean, you got this blowout game going on right now, and different philosophies on that. Some coaches say our guys could, you know, kind of no difference from a guy who rests and a guy who doesn't. I just always wonder our guys to be extremely fresh. And finally, Larry Bird philosophy, and get to the get to the court about eight hours before. But mine was always, let's take it easier on game day. But maybe that's why. Pretty much out of hand, and their Sanders still going for a loose ball. You gotta love that. I don't like that. Watching practice yesterday, if you haven't seen Jamarian Sharp, he can run the floor at seven. Then he was almost got teed up by one of our officials as the Tigers win our opener here in the Cayman Islands Classic Tournament. 77 to 60.